Hello, my name is Natalie and I'm the interpretation intern here at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Today, we're gonna to be talking about caring for your snake plant. Snake plants originate in tropical West Africa and they're known for their large sword-like leaves. These are common house plants that thrive on little maintenance. Their long leaves can add vertical interest to any room. They come in a variety of color and shapes and are a great plant for anyone with any level of experience. I'm here today with Chris Tarrant, who's going to give us some tips and tricks on how to keep your snake plant healthy and happy for many years to come. Question one. Snake plants are common house plants and are considered easy to care for. Why is that? They're very easy to care for because they don't require a lot of care. That seems fairly obvious. They're uh, a plant that does not require a lot of moisture and they are quite tolerant of neglect. Uh, so they do find themselves in many, many households because of that fact. You can go away on holiday for two weeks and no, don't have to worry about it being dead when, it comes, when you come home. So one heavy watering is sufficient and then let it drain through and then you don't have to water it again until the soil is very, very dry. Question two, what are the ideal growing conditions for snake plants? Um, as far as watering or overall general care of the Sansevieria, is that they like to be watered well when they are watered, but free drain, never let it sit in water. Uh, and then uh, it doesn't require watering then until the root ball has then thoroughly dried out. As far as heat is concerned, it never must go below 14 degrees Celsius. It can tolerate up to 30, 32, which it does in this greenhouse, um, but then it tends to dry out a little faster. So the frequency of watering changes a little bit too. They'll tolerate full sun to part shade, and in the winter months, try and keep them away from a cold window. Question three, do snake plants bloom? Yes, they do. And uh, we just so happen to have one in bloom as we have here. So this one is the Sansevieria trifasciata laurentii that we know of. And this is the bloom that you get from them. It's fairly insignificant. It never ever gets higher than the foliage. It's always sort of in the middle of the plant. And uh, yeah, it, this one's got two buds on it, I think. Yeah, we've got another one on this side as well. Oop, it's not grown for its flowers. It's just an, in, uh, uh, an end cycle for the plant to go into uh, reproduction and, pro and produce seeds. Question four, what are some different cultivars of snake plants? Uh, the most common one is Sensevieria trifasciata, which is what most people have in their houses. So this one is the mother of the original, and then these are derivative cultivars that have been bred uh, with this one being crossbred with another cultivar. We also have the Sansevieria cylindrica, which is this one. So it's a very tubular uh, foliage. And then we have the Sansevieria masoniana, and this one is commonly known as the whale tail. This one is not necessarily rare, but it is very expensive. Question five, what are some signs of stress in snake plants? Uh, very few, to be honest. The, the Sansevieria is quite tolerant of all levels, many levels of abuse. The most common one, though, would be overwatering, and we don't have any indications of those here because we look after our plants very, very well. Uh, but if a Sansevieria is overwatered, the foliage tends to get uh, soft and uh, rubbery. Right now, they're very rigid. But when it's overwatered, they'll get very soft and fleshy uh, and will start to go yellow from the tips down. But it takes a long, long time for that to occur, several months. So if you're on the ball with your plant, you can observe that quite quickly. And if you just take the pot out, knock all the soil off, repot it into fresh soil, water it, and then let it, let it dry out, typically it can recover quite convincingly. The other signs of stress are over potting or pot bound. Um, that typically doesn't show up uh, in any other form other than your pot will disintegrate. Uh, the roots will have a tendency to break through even clay pots. So be on the lookout for that. And then the only other uh, sign of stress would be keeping it in too much, too low light and they become very stretched and etiolated thin and they don't fill out. The crowns don't fill out. Very few leaves. Thank you, Chris, for all of your useful information. I hope our viewers have learned some helpful tips on how to care for their snake plant. To learn more about plant care, please visit rbg.ca or check out RBG's YouTube channel to find more videos. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.